All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, this week's Parsha is Parsha of Eira. And Parsha of Eira, we have the, the Makos, the, the plagues. There were 10 plagues, as we know. Uh, we talked about it at the, uh, at the Pesach Seder. But the plagues and what took place there have a special significance uh, in, in our lives. You know, I always like to look at something and say, what's the, what's the connection between the plagues in Mitzrayim and right now in 2021? Well, of course, you know, we are going through a, a plague uh, with COVID-19. So that's certainly one connection. But the, the more important connection is what we learn from the, the breakdown of these, these bakos, of these plagues, as to how one has to approach an outlook regarding not only the plagues, but regarding how we relate to God. And this Nativo Shalom is gonna talk about that. Uh, and I think that's, a, that's that'll be an important message. It's gonna talk about, remember at the Seder, uh, Rabbi Yehuda, uh, after the 10 makos are mentioned, David Svardaya and so on, uh, it says, Rabbi hey, Nosim, Rabbi He gives them symbols. Uh, uh, at first glance, what are we learning from that? Uh, so he's taking the first letter of each word and giving them a symbol? Big deal. Well, it is a big deal, as the Nativa Shul will explain uh, the reason for it. Uh, so let's, let's, without further ado, uh, begin the begin this year. Hatorah Hakadosh, he Torah Torahs Chaim. We always have to remember that the Torah is a Torah of life. The Torah, and I've said it a zillion times, the Torah is not a history book. It's not a story book. The Torah is lahorot et haderech asher yelchon ba. Torah to teach us the way that we should walk upon, that we should go upon. It's, it's sort of the owner manual, God's owner's manual to us to operate in this world. Why is it that the, the Torah spends so much time talking about the exodus from Egypt? Why? Because this is a, a, a permanent thing. It's, it's, a, it's constantly happening. It's, it's forever. Uh, and because of this, it's, it's, not, it's not only a, a story of the past. It says in the, in the present tense, God is taking you out of Mitzrayim. It's not saying God took us out of Mitzrayim. God is taking us out of Mitzrayim right now. And as he says, Bechal dor vador, the klalufrat, for every single generation, uh, uh, specifically and, and generally, I'm trying to get the, the marker so you can see where I'm going. Uh, every generation, uh, the specifics and the uh, in the general. Ukishmosha uh, Kosov Maharal, as the Maharal wrote, should be at Seas Mitzrayim, lo som hakarish borahu eno el osu hador blavad. In the Exodus from Egypt, God didn't put his eyes only on that on that generation alone. El osom eno al kol hadoros for kol Yehudi, but he put his eyes, and as he was concentrating, he had in mind all of the generations and every Jew. Because of this, we should explain in Yonim Hanitzchi, the eternal aspect of the 10 plagues, where the Torah is telling us in great detail, every one of them. Why? Why do we need 10 plagues? Couldn't Hashem just have made the same point by just starting with the, 
the death of the firstborn. Why go through everything else? Why go through the, the river, water turning to blood, etc. Start with the end. Just do the end. That finishes them. That takes care of it. No. There's a reason for it. We have to explain the words of the Gemara. Uh, this is what I, I mentioned in the introduction. Rabbi Yehuda gave them uh, signs. Uh, etc. He gave them signs. The Tzach Hadash Bachal. So the Tish Jones says, Mamosif, but for him, Elu. What is he adding with these things? Kirosha Tebu Shalamakos, Asa, Aslash Mir, we have to learn the, 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 the first letters of the Makos. What, what, what difference does that make? Ella. Ella, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Yehuda Machadesh. He, he gave a, a chidush, shahat, uh, second. sorry. Uh, he gave a chidush, he taught something new, she'eser hamakos nachlokot legimel halakim. These 10, <coughs> ten plagues are divided into three different parts. The Tzach, first three is Dam, Svardea, Kinim, uh, blood, frogs, and lice. Where do they come from? Shemi Tachas La'adama, they're underneath the ground. Adav Amar. no, I'm sorry, Adash, second, second series is Arov, Dever and Shechin is uh, 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 cattle disease, play, uh, plague, and boils. Shehin al Those are on top of the earth. The brios hamahalechas al preharets, anashim behemos vechayos. It refers to everybody who walks upon the earth. Uh, men. Animals and wild animals. Uvachav, the last of the three portions, is Barad, Arba, Choshech, Machas, Bechoros. The last four, um, hail and locusts and darkness and the, the death of the first one. So where are those coming from? Heim ba'avir hashumayim. They come in the air of the heavens. L'malam ibnei hadam, above the earth. This is the aspect of these 10 plagues. Kiparo Omar. Remember when Moshe first approached Paro and said, I said, wants you to let my people go. What does he say? He says, Me Hashem. He looks at his book of gods and he says, I don't know who this God is, which is a strange thing because you remember when Paro first had the dreams and Yosef was called upon to, to interpret the dreams, uh, Paro said, you know, where, do you, where do you have such wonderful powers? He says, I get these powers from Hashem. Well, obviously he knew about Hashem at that point. Now all of a sudden, as well as forgetting what, what Yosef did, uh, what B'nai Israel did for, for all the people of Egypt, saving them from famine, bringing them great prosperity, he forgot all about it. He chose to forget about it. He forgot about God also. He says, so he says, be Hashem. I don't know who Hashem is. Hainu Shekofer Bahavaya. He was a, a, a denier of God. And he was denying the, the uh, custodianship of God over every part of creation. Therefore, here HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Ramakos, therefore Hashem showed him these 10 plagues to show him that God is a part of every aspect of creation down below the ground, on top of the ground, and above the ground, in heaven, in the air. 
וזה מה שמצינו, שבכל חלק בגימל החלוקוס של המקלס, we see, this is where we see you in every, every one of these three sections of the plagues. Nehemiah, it says, במקרו הראשון, the first plague, it says, עניין זה, this is why, להודיע כי אני השם, to, to let it be known that I am God. בדם, with blood, במקרו הראשון של הנצח, the first, the first, uh, Maka, the first plague of of the tzach, Nemar bezos teda ki adi Hashem says, with this you will know that I am God. Hayu shehira lo hakadosh baruch hu that God was showing Paro she bezos teda that you should know she she metachat lefnei hashetach ani Hashem. That underneath everything that you see, I am God there as well. And that is the answer to Paro who says, I don't know who this Hashem is. I don't know who God is. So then we go to the second set. The Maka Rishona Shel Adash Aruf. In the, in the, the second set of Adash. What does it say? Because it says, Laman Teda, you should know. In order that you should know, this plague is being brought upon you, you should know, Kiani Hashem Bekeir Varetz, that I am Hashem, I am God in the midst of the world. Shateda, that you shall know, Ki Bechal Chelke Habria, in every part of creation, Gam Al Pene Sheta, even on the, above the ground, Ani Hashem, I am God. Bechem b'maka harishona shall ba'achav the bara the bara the last plague and achav ba'achav which is hail bara. See what says ba'avur. Why am I doing this? Ba'avur so that teda you will know ki ein kamoni b'chol hor. It says nobody like me in all of the world. Shekin neged ma omer shmash omer paro mi Hashem. This, this is against what Paro said, who is God? I don't know who God is. Hashem showed him as a these 10 plagues, Shiyada, that he should know that in every aspect of creation, I am God. Underneath the ground, ain't old Movado. There's nobody except him. Apnea Shetach on top of the ground, ain't old Movado. There's nobody except God. Achain Lamala Lamala, Fabir Shmaim, as high as you can go in the heavens, the air of the heavens, Bahala Yikum, in every part of creation, ain't old Movado. There's nothing, nothing like Hashem. There's nobody like Hashem. Kenyan Zamatsina B Midrash, Shakhato, we find Ashmos Rabba, the Midrash Shmos Rabba, Shibakale Kamakos, uh Shalosha uh Ayude Aron, that they were divided uh three three that Aaron did, the Shlosha Ayude Moshe, three that Moshe did, the Shlosha Ayude Akarishbok, and three that God did. Bakha Sayyidi Kulan, and one for all of them. So Dam Tsvardeya Vakinim. Those three things, the first three things, show you by Aretz, they were in the ground. Ayde Aaron, they were done with Aaron because Moshe didn't want to do them because he's teaching us the, the lesson of Akora Tatov. Uh, Moshe used, uh, used the, first of all, the dam, the rivers turning to blood. Moshe was saved from the river. He was pulled out of the river. So Akora Tatov, he can't put a curse upon the river. Uh, the Tzvardeya, uh, the frogs come out of the river. The same thing in Kinim, lice. Uh, these were these were things in the earth. He used Moshe used the earth to bury to bury the Egyptian uh, after he killed the Egyptian who was who was beating a Jew. 
Uh, so he had a Korat HaTov. He said, I can't, Lord Hashem, you know, I can't be the one to curse these things. And then the, the goes on, says, next, Arov Dever Marcos Pachoros. I, I skipped one, sorry. Um, Borod Arba Choshech. Aide Moshe. Moshe did those three things. The hail and the locusts and the darkness. Those were in the air. Because Moshe was able to uh, have dominion, so to speak, of, of heaven and earth. In other words, he didn't have a, it, was, it wasn't a problem of, of cursing any of these things. But Arov, Devero, Makos, Bechoros, Aida, Kershbo, the last four, God himself did. Shkin, but Shkin, Royals, Aide, Kulam. They were all, all of them did that. So, okay, Ad Khan. So, the Chemos thing of Boloshan at Kasuvim, we find also that the Gimel, Hamakos, or Rishonos, Shohibaris, the first three plagues on the earth, the seed of Makas Dam, it's written with the, the Maka, the plague of, of blood, but not Tayarach al Mayim, it's Rhyme, stretch out your hand on the, the, uh, the seas of Mitzrayim of Egypt, on the Horosum. On the, on the rivers, on Yoreim, Balag Mayhem, and all, all, all bodies of water, Vumakos Sarde, and for the, the Maka of the frogs, Matas Yarcha, Matcha, uh, stretch out your hand with your, with your staff, on the Haros, on the Hari Urim, Balagamim, all of the, the waterways, Hemamaka Kinim, also on the, the, the plague of, of Kinim, of lice, Matas Matcha, Vahacha Safar Aretz. Stretch out your your uh, staff and and uh, smite the earth. And the last one, all these were in the air. They were Moshe doing these. You see, Makas Bora Bechoshech with hail and darkness is not this. Lift your hands up to the heavens. You know, Moshe was always lifting his hands up to the heavens. Moshe. Uh, was always looking to, to Hashem for salvation. You remember much later on in the Torah when we had the, the, the fight with, with Amalek, first time Amalek was fighting B'nai Yisrael, that Moshe had his hand raised. And whenever his hand was raised, B'nai Yisrael was winning. When his hand wasn't, B'nai Yisrael was losing. So this is, this is symbolic. Moshe is, has, uh, teaches us that we always have to look, uh, look to Hashem. Okay. The uh, Rashi, the same Midrash, I got Midrash, I got a Rashi says on that about lifting his hand. He says, that God raised Moshe higher than the heavens. He raised him up to such a high level. He was higher than the, the covering of heaven, and the heaven was below him. And we learn also from the, the words of the Medrash, that these ten, ten plagues are also divided in the, in the, the three aspects of a, of a human being, of every creation. And as we've learned, as Rabbi Yehuda said, there are three different types of, of planes. The first below the ground. The last, the second three are those that are on top of the ground. They were on the heavens above the earth. To teach us that God is God is in charge of every creation. Everywhere you look, up, down, and below, God is in charge. And that, that's, that's the message that, that he, that we, we, we learn from that and why the why the division 
Babke Advorim Esher Makos Hen Yesod Hamune. And the, the aspect is ten, 10 plagues are the foundation of Amuna. Yeshlava Od Bechal Kosal Gimel Chalik. And also understanding that their foundation, the foundation of Amuna, they can be divided into three different parts. Adash should be Arnu Shiyesh Shloshim Adregos Bechal. There's We've learned this before, he's repeating it now. There's three different levels of amuna of faith in God. And what are they? First is amuna hamoach, the amuna of your mind, the faith of your mind. Amuna amunas halev, the amunas of your heart. Amunas haivorim, and the faith of your haivorim, of your limbs. What does that mean? Amunas hamei hamoach. Intellectually, you understand. Just as you're looking at a picture and you, you see that somebody had to paint this picture. Intellectually, you're looking at, you know, we're looking at this picture of the world before us. Somebody had to make this picture. And that was God. So intellectually, you understand that. That's Amunas HaMoach. You understand that there's nothing else but God. Well, the Malam is that, but higher than this, is Amunas, Amunas Halev, the faith that's within your heart. Shagam Barikshe Halev, in the great feelings of the heart, who Margish Ki Ein Olovan, in your emotions, the feelings of your heart, you, you understand, you feel, not just you understand intellectually, but you Mamash feel that there's nobody like Hashem in this world. Ulamala, and above, Above that is Amuna Ha'ivorim, the, the faith that you have in your limbs. Shagam Ha'ivorim, Margishim Shabori is Borech Shemo, Yodea Komase Bene Adam, Vachom Achsham. To realize that, to feel in your limbs that uh, God knows uh, all, all of the the doings of man and all of your thoughts. You can't hide from God. <laughs> there, there was some interesting uh, chat today on WhatsApp. People were, were concerned about the lack of privacy, that there's some new privacy measures and there's a lack of privacy. And, and I, I, I showed Amy, I said, the very first uh, halacha, the Shulchan Arach, says that when you wake up in the morning, you should realize that Hashem is looking at you and watching your every move and, and understanding your every thought. So we don't have any privacy from Hashem. Uh, Hashem knows everything we do, so we have to conduct ourselves appropriately. And if you conduct yourselves in a way that you're not going to be embarrassed before Hashem, you're not going to be embarrassed by whatever's, whatever's out there. Then he goes on. The perfection of Amuna, he's kasher b'tachtiyam shnei mishlishim yodei yehudi ki eino mavado. The perfection of Amuna is when you put all these three things together. You, you, you combine the Amuna of the, of the mind, of the heart, and of the avorim, of the limbs, and recognize there's nobody but Hashem in this world. Because of this Amuna, because of this great faith, the Alu of Yisraim, we were redeemed from Egypt. Therefore, these ten plagues were made to, to uh, encompass Amuna in every part of our body. To know that, you, that I am Hashem, that's, a, that's an eternal matter. That the, the ten makos, ten plagues are the foundation of Amuna. And all the three parts of a human being. Dego Machne Machne Ephraim, that's what that abbreviation is. Uh, as it said, the holy book should maybe Kushiot Zakeno Habal Shem Tov Hakadosh. Somebody brought some questions before the Baal Shem Tov, holy Baal Shem Tov. 
Al Pasik for you do Mitzrayim Kini Hashem that Egypt will know that I'm Hashem. Bechilavans of Mitzrayim Yadu, and in order that the Egyptians will know Kiani Hashem that I am God's Sorek Lechol Shidur Hamarachat El Chol Er Chazaka Shas Hashem Mitzrayim to to let the Egyptians know that 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 there's God in this world. That you have to go to these great lengths uh, that He did with the Egypts. We tarot souls. And the Degomach Nefraim answered this should be a dua Misraim, Koi Al Khela Kamisri Shabihudi. This knowledge of the Egyptians refers to the, the part of the Egyptians, the part of us that are that are contrary to the will of God that's within each of us. Abu uh, Zod, because of this, Shidar Khadish Borah's call Hamarachot. So God did all these things, Laman Teda, that we should know. Yani Hashem, that I am God. Yadu Mitzrayim, and Mitzrayim will know Yani Hashem, she patach ha-Kadosh Baruch Hu, petach she-yecholo la-gil le-behirot ha-muna. God opened up a passageway for them to, to come into a, a level of clarity in, in Amuna, in belief and faith in God. Patach tiyim, shnayim, shlishim, Yani Hashem, in all aspects, all aspects of your, of your life. And because of this, Yesh Lahavin, we can understand I'm a super Al Echa Mianche Barnas Ava Kodesh Bislonim. It's what's going on. It's funny that was told on, on one of the, the Hasidim of uh, the, the, his grandfather. Shukodam Si Kashir Elav, before he, he met him, Hoyolo Kol Mani Kushiot, the Gani Hamun. He had all kinds of questions dealing with. And he would go to various tzaddikim to see if they would be able to satisfy, satisfactorily answer his questions relating to faith in God. Well, he, after he went to all these tzaddikim to get questions answered, he got back to his house. The Sorolo Shuv Hakusho. Other questions arose in his in his mind. When he came before the the uh, uh, his grandfather Slonimer to to put out his questions, Lomar La Shum Hasvor, and he didn't give him any any reasons, Elazos, but this. He says, Haro. Karo Paro asked many questions. Me Hashem, who is God? Lo Yidati is Hashem. I don't know Hashem. I'll call Kushio so no son Loa Kodesh Baruch Hu Every question that that Pharaoh asked, God brought a plague. The Hatchil Limnot. And he began to count. He kasha, echad ka, I kasha, I maka, I kasha, I maka. One question, one plague. Actually, smali gufo makas patsoyim rachman alatzar until his body was filled with plagues and 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 wounds. God forbid. Vinyan akushio choyola, like the the number of questions that he had. We ask this talko kol kishiosa, and from then. All his questions left him. Lohitridu owed, and he didn't. Uh, this is the person. This is the person who was asking the the Slotimer. At that point, we told him this. All of his questions. He no longer had any more questions. Uh, the questions left him. This is the, the eternal power of the ten plagues. To come to a completion of the of the clarity. Of of Amuna, of faith, of faith in God, and the the, the you can see the the relevance of this to what we're going through today. You know, everybody is you know we're looking at COVID nineteen and we're blaming it on uh, uh, China virus, blaming it on uh, contagion between people, all sorts of things, and what we're forgetting to do. Is that maybe we need to look at God's role in this? Because God doesn't let anything happen. 
maybe God is sending us the message that, look, no matter what you think, no matter what you think may have caused this, I'm in charge here. I'm in charge of what comes from the ground, what's above the ground, what comes from heaven. Uh, just as I'm in charge of those three things, I'm in charge of this virus that's spreading. And I'm in charge of the cure for the virus. It's all up to God. And I, I think what we all need to do is to recognize God's role in this and recognize that if we have that clarity of Amuna, of belief in God, and just as God redeemed us from Egypt, as it says, B'nai Yisrael lo nigalu el Yishvil Amuna shalachem, B'nai Yisrael wasn't redeemed but for their amuna, if we have that amuna that they had, then we will see God redeem us from our own personal misraim, our own personal makos, our own personal magdefa, our own personal difficulties. And I, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you all for listening. And I... Uh, 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 any, any questions, comments? Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.